I'm going to do a small video with Kodak because um, Sony's, for some reason, playing up a bit. Keeps um, wanting to change scene. Right, over there is Lydiard Hill on the top there. I think that's Lydiard Hill. There's West Bragborough plantation area. There's some horses there. And then if you go along further along that back way would be Will's Neck. And you, from the Stout Lane, you'd come down through here. I think you'd go down through and round, and the church is down in that valley. That's what I think. But at the moment, there's two paths I'm following. There's this lower one and the drove up there. Now, this looks a nice one to follow because I probably have really good views of the church. But it could be that this drove will link up with this little path in a minute. This is what I'm saying about the learning curve. When you don't know an area. But well, I've had to put the Kodak on just for a minute to do some videoing. Because I don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss this, this particular beautiful, beautiful view. Look. Um, <coughs> Dowsborough. Hill and all that, isn't there? Well, Lydiard Hill. There's something Dowber Hill. I've got it on the map. I hope I haven't lost the map. No, I've still got the map. I'm just going to carry on following this drove. Because from the map, this does seem to be the, the way to go. And we're skirting Great Wood, like it said. This is Great Wood. And it's, it's looking more reasonable to walk along now isn't it so Sony's having a rest it has done quite a bit of videoing for me hopefully um, I've got the battery charger for Kodak so we'll do a little bit with Kodak while the other one's messing about what it's doing I'm videoing and suddenly it wants to go on to scene selection. So I don't know whether I'm still recording and it's turned off or not, I'm not sure. These are sort of the hiccups you can have when you're doing photography and you're out and you're in a new place. And the last thing you want when you're just exploring a new place is for nothing to be recorded. I mean, look at that, look at the beauty. Just to think, I've only, I'm 72 and I've only been over this side of the hill for the first time in my life. Do you know what I mean? This is the first time in my life I've been this side of the hill. And I've got a feeling my little church is going to be along that valley and it doesn't feel so far. But you imagine if I walk back and headed for over there, I'd either have to walk up through here, this valley, otherwise you'd have to climb right up there. There's Stout Lane coming out at the top there. Right over there, right over there, Stout Lane will be, where those trees go on. Can't see Will's Neck. I think Will's Neck is further back. I can see some ponies with riders on them, white ones. I'm going to carry on following this. This is a beautiful little track. And like I'm saying, there are paths there are gates every now and again as well if you wanted to wander off into the, the wood. I'm keeping, I'm staying here. Instinct's telling me to stay on this path like it shows you on the map. I am a great believer in using maps. I mean some, a lot of people use the GPS stuff. I, what I do, I go on Google Maps and I study it. And I try and work and I write stuff down as well and do little diagrams. And do rough outlines and it, it sticks in my mind. And then of course doing the video is a good way of re recording and remembering and internalising what you've done. So I'm a, I'm a bit um, worried about Sony playing up. It might be close to wanting to need another battery. But look at that view, everyone. 
Look at that view. And I, of course, I've walked all the way along there several times and the other direction. When I first discovered West Bagborough, I was in, I, I had Alberta. We, it was a massive day out. I parked uh, Alberta at Holford. I walked from Holford to West Bagborough the first time I'd done it. Did you? Yeah, it was a massive walk. And uh, then I learnt about Chiscombe Stone parking area. And like I was saying earlier, that's when I, if I still had my van, I would have explored here by now. It was um, on the on the list. But of course, then I didn't have the van anymore. Now those two joggers I met, they reckon they'd meet me on the way back. So I don't know where they've gone. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping I can see the church. Once I see that church in that gorgeous valley. I mean, when you look at the map, there's no hot idea there's such a big, deep valley. Not on the map I've got. It's massive and it's gorgeous. And I'm following it. It's like... I think that little path is still there I could have followed but this is protecting me this shaded area yeah it's great isn't it is it yeah I mean there's no pant there's lots of trains I hope later though apparently this morning if I'd got a slightly later train I would have been really late out here apparently there were cows on the line near Bristol cows so the trains were all being late, some were cancelled. The fact that I got that very early one, I got one 10 minutes before the other train that was going to be delayed. And it linked, and I linked up with my bus. Perfect time and I only waited five minutes and I was on the bus. But come out, like you come out into this open space. And look at the gorgeous beauty everyone. It is recording. It's great, isn't it? Look at it. My goodness, I'm so blessed, everyone. This is, I'm 72 and this is the first time. I can see a path coming down near there. I reckon what I'd do, I'd come up Stout Lane, which is the other side of those trees there, and down and round and down into Ashholt. I reckon that's what it's going to be. Here's the alternative path that I could have carried on. There's two. Um, I can't see Will's neck. It'll be further beyond. Might not see it at all. But here we have the beautiful Somerset countryside. And I'm thinking that my little, my little church is going to be down there somewhere. It's got to be. According to my map. But we're going to carry on following this path. I'm so looking forward to seeing the church again. Oh yeah, yeah. It might be shut. I was lucky I got in last time. Right, I've done quite a big recording with this camera so it'll have to go on charge pretty soon. Well that's Lydia here everyone. West Bagra Plantation and the walks across I usually quite often go up on the top when I do mine but we're going to follow this this seems to be the one to follow to start with we need to get what I what I like doing when I'm discovering and exploring is find the back get my boundaries first you know so if I'm introduced to a new wood I like to know the boundaries of it and the main routes first then I start to explore and it can take several years But I can't just drive up here anymore, see? You can see why well, I had to walk a good hour's walk uphill from the bus stop up to the Triscombe Stone to get here. The alternative one, which might be better, would be to do the awful Stout Lane, of course. But it seems quite, quite close to Ashholt. And then come back this way. To, to Triscombe. Now, 
I'm, I will definitely be coming back to Triscombe Stone and then what will happen is I'll decide whether I feel I've got the energy and the time to go to Crocom and go down Crocom Hill and, and get the bus from there. Okay, so I've had to do a little bit of videoing with Kodak. Um, I do like videoing with it, it's fine. Well, Sony might need a new battery, although I did charge it up yesterday. Um, it's only just started to do this scene selection thing. I don't know why it's doing it, but it could be messing about with the videos. I mean, for all I know, it could be turning them off and not finishing them, which would be a shame. So for now, it might be using Kodak. But can Kodak plays up after a while and will freeze? Will it? Yeah. I'm carrying on here. I am going downhill. I hope you realise that, Sheila. Yeah, you will have a hill on the way up. But you should really keep on this main track, I think. Like I said, they don't, on the Quantox, they do not put hardly any signs up whatsoever. Um, they don't like littering the place with information. You might get a plaque at the start, like Lydiard Hill, there's a plaque. Holford, there's a plaque. Beacon Hill, there used to be a plaque. There ain't one at the moment. I don't think there's one at Bicknoller. I don't think there's one that bit not there. Right, I'm going to turn off now. I'm going to come back on because I need to take some photos and I will come back on. It's just a shame I haven't bumped into anybody who could point me, just re well, reassure me really. God, I've just seen a deer. Hold on. Right down there. Is it still there? Oh, it's gone. Oh, yeah, there's a deer. Just not far from that bush, a deer just passed. What I don't want to do is sort of end up going somewhere I don't want to go. You know what I mean? And with no help, no one to ask. And people can send you on a wild goose ch chase. It's called the Farmer's Mile. And they'll say, oh, you ain't far, love. You just go down there a bit, turn left. Then you go on a bit further, you turn right, girl. And then it, you go, you, you, and you end up doing five miles. You know. And a lot of people who drive a lot haven't got any idea about how long it will take someone to walk. So they say, oh, it's only a couple of miles, love. It's only just up there. You'll get there in a minute. Don't take long at all. And they've probably never walked it. Right, over and out for now. Which I'm going to turn off any minute. I've just seen a deer um, past that tree there. A, a doe. Just seen a doe. Some more views coming in. I'm trying to look out for the church, which I think is down in that valley. And, there might, and we're, good, we're curling up round again now. Right, let's turn off for a bit. Over and out. Right, we'll just do another bit of a video, so we get on. I always get a little bit anxious, you know. Well, I've come quite a long way along the drove now. The beautiful valley's down there. Um, <clears throat> from the map, it does look like this route eventually comes near to Ashholt. But because you can't see anything, so there's a gate there, see? That could be where that path came back round. Could be. But we don't know, do we? We don't know. My theory is, <clears throat> if I was doing the Stout Lane one, I'd be going up through there now. Round Dowborough Wood. And... Uh, 
across a field or something. Yeah, so there are fields there. I'm just trying out Sony again. This I do get I do like the excitement of exploring. Believe me I do and I'm so pleased when I find the place. You know? See there's another training off there look. Another path. What we don't want to do is find we've walked past the church. So what we're gonna do here for a minute. Let's just go down here a minute and see if we can see anything else. That's why the drove is very important for me at the moment as my main road, if you like, that I know, my boundary. So if we look down here now, we might see something. You never know, we might do. Yeah, 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 there's um, West Bagborough there, oh, it's so confusing isn't it, that's, is that Lydia's Hill, that's Lydia's Hill, so we'd be coming back down, I reckon it's going to be somewhere down here, do you, yeah, I think so, but I can't see it, so basically we need to keep back on the main track, But it could be that this is the track I should take to the church. I've got no idea. I've got no idea. We'll carry on up here a minute.